Hey guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 21. If you're new here, welcome to Park Avenue. My name is Ashley Park, and I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. Outfit ideas, unboxing, styling videos. If that's what you like, be sure and check out some of my other videos. And when you find something you like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. So you guys may have noticed that there was a little break in Vlogmas, but it's because it was my birthday weekend and my birthday turned out to be way more exciting than I had planned for. There were a lot of surprises happening in the background that I had no idea about. So I'm just really excited to share with you guys what I did and what happened and all that good stuff. But before I do, I wanna show you guys a little present that I got. Dior sent me some goodies for my birthday. Okay, I'm just kidding you guys. Dior did not send these for my birthday. I'm pretty sure they had no idea that it was my birthday, but I did get to pick out some items and these were sent. So I'm excited. It just so happened that it lined up with my birthday and I'm excited to show you guys what I got. And it's interesting that this uh, opportunity arose around the time of my birthday because I had seen all the beautiful Dior holiday pieces and I was really excited about them. I love their packaging, and Dior is just a brand that I love. You guys know I wear my Dior pin all the time, and I do one day hope to add a Lady Dior to my collection, and you know, all that good stuff. I do really love Dior. So I'm excited to open this up, because I had been waiting to show you guys on camera. And first we have this little pouch with some samples in it, so it has a mini Miss Dior perfume in there. And then it has Sauvage, and then a sample of J'adore, which J'adore smells really, really good. But we all know that. So I picked out some lipsticks. I really love their packaging. They were so beautiful. And these all, all these items are Dior Beauty, if I didn't mention that already. And even just the simple boxes are beautiful. So these are the Rouge Dior lipsticks. And this first one is 466 Pink Rose, which is a satin. And I've only heard good things about these lipsticks. This next lipstick color is called 999 Velvet. And this is like a signature Dior Red. It looks so good. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen it in person, so I was really excited to see it in, in person. And it looks really pretty. It's a really nice, not a shocking red, but a very like true red, very vibrant and gorgeous. And then I picked out two of these Diorific lipsticks. And the tubes are so beautiful. That's really what made me want them. But the colors are really nice as well. So let's start off with Taupe Ispahan. And that's 076. Taupe Ispahan. Isn't it so beautiful? Look at that. Looks like a little ornament. Okay, so that's everything that I received from Dior Beauty. I'll have everything linked in the description box for you guys. So be sure and check there. Now, let's get into this birthday weekend. You guys, my birthday was so much fun. I had such a great time and I was so surprised with everything that happened. I definitely did not realize it was going to be such a busy birthday. Originally, I had decided I was just gonna chill. I mean, I had a really good year this year. I really, like, I don't really wait for like special occasions to be able to get things that I want. And you know, this was just a really big year for me. It was a really great year for me. and. I was okay with just going to dinner for my birthday, you know? Honestly, at the time I was like, oh, maybe I don't really need to do anything except relax. And then I was like, okay, let's just go to dinner. So my birthday fell on a Saturday, but originally Winston and I were gonna go to dinner on Friday night. And he told me, you know, be ready around like 7.30. He, he didn't tell me where we were gonna go, what we were gonna do. I only knew we were going to dinner and that I just need to be ready at 7.30. So earlier that Friday, I went to get my hair done. And you guys know, I go, I just get a silk press. I don't do anything, you know, chemical treating my hair or anything like that. I, I just get a silk press. And so I got my hair done. And so while I was getting my hair done, he actually called me and let me know that the reservation had got switched. And so we were gonna end up going out on Saturday, which was my actual birthday, which was fine. I was like, okay, whatever. Fast forward to Saturday. It turns out Saturday is a very gloomy and rainy day, very humid. So I was like, oh my gosh, I just got my hair done on Friday and now it's Saturday and you know, humidity is kryptonite. So <laughs> I was like, what am I gonna wear? What am I gonna do? And I actually didn't even wanna go anymore because when it's rainy and humid, it's just like poor conditions for a fabulous outfit. It's poor conditions for a fabulous natural hair. So I was just like, it's not gonna be fun. I just got out of the mood. I didn't know what to wear and all that. So I finally decided I was just 
going to pull it together so that I will be able to go to dinner. I had told Winston actually to cancel the reservations. I was just like, look, we don't really need to go out to dinner. We can go to dinner anytime. Like, it's not that big of a deal. He was like, no, Ashley, we're going. I'm like, what's going to be, what's the big deal? Like, are they going to charge the card or something? Like, why can't we just not go? He was like, we're going. That's final. That's it. So I'm like, okay, fine. I pulled it together, got ready for dinner. I was ready around the time he told me to be around 730. So today is my actual birthday and Winston and I are headed out to dinner. I still have my pink curls in because today is a very rainy, very humid day. It is about 60 something degrees right now. It's really not cold at all. And I really just didn't know what to wear because the weather has been so weird. And sometimes on my birthday, I tend to like overthink everything. Like, oh, I gotta, you know, go out and find an outfit and you know, all these big things. And I really don't know why, because I could just find something really cute that I already have, which I did. And I feel really comfortable and it's perfect for what's going on outside with the weather because I really wanted to wear a pair of like heeled black boots, but I couldn't find any. All of my boots are, like all of my heeled boots are suede, which is crazy, I don't know why, but I found a cute outfit, I'm very comfortable, and it's perfect for what's going on with the weather. I don't know where we're going, because Winston didn't tell me, but we are going to dinner, and then we might go out for more drinks afterwards. So I am really excited. Yesterday we went out last night, um, because some of our friends have a podcast, it's called Fat Nasty Podcast, actually. And it was a lot of fun just seeing, you know, what they have done on the podcast and everything. And they were interviewing some new artists and it was just really cool. But I had literally one drink while I was there and it took me out. Like, I was so tired today. And on top of that, it was raining. And when it's raining, it like really makes me even more sleepy. And so that was that. But... A lot of people were like asking me like, what are you doing for your birthday? What's going on? What are you doing for your birthday? And Winston and I are going to dinner. And honestly, my birthday feels like just another day. And I'm like so grateful, so blessed. And I'm living the life that I've, that I've wanted to live. Like, you know what I mean? Like I'm literally creating the life that I want. Winston and I are really working on all the things that we said we were going to do and they're happening. So anyway, every day feels like my day. You know, so my birthday to me is another day and I do acknowledge it, but every day really is a really great day for me. <laughs> so I'm just, I just feel so blessed and grateful for that. And thank, to, thank you to all of you for all the birthday wishes you guys have sent me on Instagram. I was reposting happy birthdays from other people in my stories. And so many of you DM me telling me happy birthday, you know, have a great day and all that. So I just really appreciate it. I'm just beyond thankful. All these things that have happened in my life, literally up, everything that has happened to me up until this point throughout my entire life. But these last couple of years of my life have been very interesting and they have really, things just have really changed for me and everything has just really been happening just so positively, you know? So I'm just like beyond grateful. So I don't even know what to begin to ask for because throughout the year, I'm just so blessed to be able to live the life I want and have the things I want and all that. So anyway, I don't want to talk you guys' ears off. I just want to show you my outfit. So here we go. P.S. You guys, look at all those shoes in the background. Closet sale. So make sure you check the link in the description box. So many shoes going up on the closet sale. I'm like Burberry shoes. Like a lot of things, even from my mother's closet. Stuart Weitzman. I mean, there's a lot. There's going to be a few different sizes. So definitely check the closet sale. The link will be in the description box. All right, so back to my outfit. Now it's raining, so I have my pink curls in. I'm going to take those out when we get to where we're going. And then my top. So this top is actually from Free People, and you guys might remember this from the partnership I did with Zappos. It's that off the shoulder, kind of like thermal style top, and it has the thumb holes. It's actually perfect because I don't need to wear a jacket because it's too warm to wear a jacket, but uh, you know, I'm gonna, it might be cold in the restaurant, I don't know. So I have a little shoulder hanging out, you know what I'm saying? That's cute, I like that. And then I'm wearing, I got a new pair of these Zara leggings. I told you guys about these leggings before. I love these leggings so much. And you guys, I had, the last pair that I had, I had for years. The last pair I was wearing, I must have had for like three plus years. And I was like, oh my gosh, these leggings are great. They're amazing. They're still really great. But when I got a new pair, the way this band sucks you in, I'm telling you, the way this band is like <laughs> snatched. Okay, don't play around with this. Like, Honestly, it's the best pair of leggings I've ever had because they're literally, they're almost like pants. They're so thick and this waistband is so good. I hope they never discontinue them because they're really everything. I also wish they came in like a nude pair because, you know, I just really need a nude pair of like leggings. But the tricky thing is, they I don't want them to be see-through. I want them to be nice and thick like these. 
So anyway, that's what I'm wearing on the bottom. And then for shoes. So these are one of the few pair of leather, um, like actual leather boots that I have. All my others are like suede, which is crazy. Or booties, I have booties, but I didn't wanna make it complicated. I just wanted to be comfortable and have fun. So this is what things turned out to be. And then I'm wearing these, um, they're 50-50 boots from Stuart Weissman. I think that's what the name is. They're leather in like the front. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go, leather. And then on the back, it has that stretchy fabric. And then I am wearing my Saint Laurent crossbody. And that is it, you guys. Oh, and my earrings. I'm wearing these earrings that I showed you guys in my jewelry collection video recently. I've had these for years. So I'll try to find something similar and link it for you guys. But I love these. And if you didn't see that video, if you want to check out my jewelry collection, I'll link it for you guys in the description box as well. And then for my jewelry on my hand, I'm wearing this and a Louisa ring that I really, really love. I really do love it. It looks so good, especially with longer sleeves. Look how it looks. It's just a lot of fun. And then I'm wearing my fave, my David Yerman pinky ring that you can't even barely see. <laughs> it's hiding back there. And then um, one of my Nordstrom gold rings. And that's it, keeping it simple. The bag is pretty much like jewelry as well. So I love that about it. Um, it goes with everything. And what else? That's it, you guys. We're gonna head out. I'm gonna throw a raincoat in the car because I don't think it's gonna, it might stop just for a short time, but I think it's gonna start again. And like I said, I don't know how long we're going to be out. I don't even know where we're going. So I will check in with you guys later on. I'm going to vlog from my phone because um, obviously I can't fit this camera in my bag and I want to be pretty hands-free and carefree. Oh, and for my fragrance, let me show you. So for fragrance, I just went with Chanel Noir. This is literally one of my favorite, might be my favorite right now. It's a beautiful evening scent, even though I have worn it in the daytime because I don't care. I really like it. And then I have the matching... Um, body cream which I really love to layer especially because I can't just apply fragrance all over my body on my neck and all that but the cream doesn't have doesn't give me much of an issue so I'll put that in areas that I can't spray the actual fragrance and I love the way this sprays it just sprays really nicely I can't really explain it besides the fact that it's like really smooth when you press the nozzle down it's really smooth and it just gives a nice spritz it's just something you will have to use and see what I'm saying and then compare it to another bottle of perfume. So if all the rest of the Chanel bottles are like this, it really is just one more thing that makes me want to get more Chanel fragrances. The ones that are in this kind of a bottle because I have Chanel Chance and it's in like a, a round bottle. You know what I mean? Like the other ones. I'm talking about all the fragrances that are in these kinds of bottles. So there's also like a white one. There's a bunch. So anyway, this is tonight's fragrance. And that's it for me, guys. Um, I'll record from my phone, like I said, and I will see you guys in a bit. So I pulled it together, got ready for dinner. I was ready around the time he told me to be, around 7.30. And Winston was dressed and ready for dinner. And I still didn't know where we were going to go. So we got to the restaurant. We went to a place. When we pulled up, uh, I realized it was a place called Osha. And it's a Thai, like, fusion kind of a place. It's like a sushi house kind of a restaurant and the reason why I said fusion is because they had some things on the menu that were not Thai they had like a chicken schnitzel which is not Thai at all but they also had sushi but anyway once we pulled up to the restaurant I realized where we were now I had never been to this restaurant before but I heard about it and I heard some good reviews on the food and the you know the way it looks I heard it was cute I saw photos and everything so I was like okay wonderful so then once I get inside um, I'm like getting ready to walk in and wait for Winston to go and tell the hostess that we're here for our reservation. And Winston's like, go to the left. I turn to the left and someone says, happy birthday. I realize it's my friend. And I'm like so shocked to see her. I'm like, thank you. Like, you know, like confused. And then I turn around to see Winston and he's like, um, he's like, have fun. I'll be back to get you. And I'm like, what? So then I go around the corner. My friend is like taking my hand and pulling me around the corner. I look up and the rest of my friends are like sitting at a table. I was like so shocked. I was like, oh my gosh. And they're like, happy birthday. And at this point, we're shouting so loud that the entire restaurant is looking at us. But we were having such a good time. And I was so happy to see them. And then... As we are like making all this ruckus and the restaurant is looking at us, I hear someone go, Ashley. And I look and it's a friend of ours that we hadn't seen for a really long time. And we all knew her and it was kind of like a mini reunion. So everyone's hugging and saying, hey, how have you been? All that. So once that calmed down a little bit, we're sitting, we decide to order some drinks and the drinks were really cute. The drinks were really good. I had what I think was a lychee martini, but my friend had ordered it already ahead of time. So I really, I didn't look at the menu to see what it was. 
Uh, another one of my friends got a really cute drink that was inside of a bird. You know, those are like really trendy right now. Those bird glasses and then the drink is inside and then you're kind of like drinking out of the bird's mouth. So that was really cute. She said it was delicious. I didn't taste it. And then we decided to go ahead and order some food, of course. <laughs> One thing about me and my friends, we're gonna eat. We are going to eat and we're gonna eat good. So we ordered quite a few things. Um, we started off, I actually can't remember the order that everything went in, but they have something called salt and pepper shrimp, which is a fried shrimp with uh, vegetables. They're like grilled vegetables and then it's on a bed of lettuce. And that was the best thing that we got. It was so good. It was so good that we ordered like a second round of it. So delicious. I would definitely get that again, and I would recommend that for sure. If you eat shrimp, it was so good. I loved it. Oh my gosh. Thinking about it right now, it was so good. The vegetables were delicious. Like even them, whatever they did to the vegetables, grilling them and seasoning them with just the salt and pepper, it was so good. Oh my gosh. It tasted like they definitely put something else besides salt and pepper, but you know, it's called salt and pepper shrimp. And then we also got... Uh, yellowtail sushi that was really delicious I loved that and then we got a sushi roll which was really good I ordered the chicken schnitzel I didn't think that was so great it was it really wasn't that flavorful and the chicken wasn't that thin which is what I thought a schnitzel was a lot thinner like a fried piece of chicken like really thin Anyway, I wouldn't order that again. And then my friends, um, we also, well, everything we got, we just shared because that's just what we do. And then we got some crab legs and king crab uh, fried rice. That I could have done without as well. It wasn't that exciting. And the crab legs, I didn't even bother with them because they were, you know sometimes when the shell is like, it's not sturdy enough to crack, but it's, bend, it's too bendable, so it's kind of annoying to eat. And it was just messy and there was sauce everywhere and they gave you gloves and everything, but I just didn't feel like that was like, I didn't want to do that. So, so I didn't have any of that. But my friends found it overwhelming. You know, a couple of them tried it and they just was like, it was underwhelming. So that was that. And then I think that was everything that we had as far as the food. Now I will say the customer service was a little off that night or a lot off, unfortunately, but I would like to try the restaurant again. I'm hoping it was just an off night for them. Uh, maybe they were busy, maybe they were overwhelmed. I don't really know what the case was, but I really enjoyed those, the yellowtail and the salt and pepper shrimp. And it's so cute in there. So I would like to go back and give it a, you know, another shot just to see. And because we had received such poor customer service, we got a free piece of cheesecake. So after dinner, we ended up taking the cheesecake home. And so we went to my friend's house. And while we were at my friend's house, they sang happy birthday to me with that free piece of cheesecake. <laughs> so that was a lot of fun. And then we decided we were gonna go to a place called Rocksteady. You guys might remember me talking about Rocksteady in a vlog, in an, a previous vlog. I had actually gone there with Winston for brunch and the food was great, the ambiance is so cute. And so I was curious to go back for either dinner or for like an evening of drinks. And I did see um, that they have a lounge, but I hadn't, hadn't been to it because the lounge is kind of like upstairs in a separate area. So when we went back, we did go to the lounge. Now, we took an Uber to Rocksteady. And again, it was very humid, it was drizzling. And so my hair, which is natural, I only get a silk press, there's no chemicals. My hair was really just, it was over. So initially it just fell, like all my curls fell and my hair was just getting a little bit flat. Then by the time we got into Rocksteady, the music was so good. We had a couple of drinks. I was dancing. I was having so much fun and it started getting warm in there because it wasn't cold outside. It was actually pretty warm. And I, my, I like basically just sweat my hair out so much so that my curls were pretty defined in the back. Like it completely reverted and like my curls were perfectly coiled and like snapping back. It was like a juicy wash and go under there. <laughs> that was so funny. And then as it was drying, every you know, my roots and everything swole. So it was kind of like lifting my hair up. So by the end of the night, I looked pretty crazy. I gotta be honest because the top was like smooth and straight. And then underneath it was just really lifted and coiled. It just looked like I was wearing a hat. <laughs> that was how the night went, but I had such a good time that I didn't even care. So we got back to my friend's house. We Ubered back to her house because um, everyone had, you know, driven separately. So we left the cars at her house because we knew we were going to be having drinks and we wanted to be carefree. So we took the Uber to 
uh, to the place, to the lounge. And then we decided to obviously Uber back. We hung out for a little bit at my friend's house and we talked and we laughed. And of course we recapped the entire night. And then Winston came to pick me up. And then once he got there, we talked some more and we laughed some more. We had such a good time. And then I came home and once I got home, um, I was pretty much ready to go to bed because I had, you know, a lot of fun, a long night. My hair was crazy and had just got my hair the day before you guys. So I was just like, you know, I'm just going to take my makeup off and get in the bed and just like go to sleep because it was a long night and it was pretty late by then. So I'm walking into the kitchen and I see a package on the kitchen counter. And I was like, first of all, I just knew it was a present because or like, why is a present sitting on the kitchen counter? It was all wrapped up, and I knew it was something to, for me to open because of where it was sitting. So I look at Winston, and he's looking like, oh, I don't, you know, I don't know what's going on. So I go to open it, and I start ripping it open, and it was my Nespresso machine. If you guys remember earlier this year, I shared with you my luxury wish list, and my Creatista Plus from Nespresso was on that list. And I was gonna go ahead and get it around the Black Friday sales, but we're doing so much work on the house and everything, and it just wasn't a priority. So I was just like, you know what, I'll just wait until we finish everything, and that way I can just, you know, begin to get the things that I want for the house. So I was really surprised to see it. I was so excited. And then I was like, when did you even have time to pick this up? Because we were literally together the entire weekend. I don't know when he was able to go and get it, but he did, and I'm really excited to share with you guys my coffee drinks. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you see that I share my coffee drinks in the morning and I'm excited to get more experience and make some cool drinks because I love coffee and it's coffee is like, it's like a ritual for me. I just really enjoy it. And I'm just excited to have this Creatista Plus because it's something that I've wanted for a really long time. It's a fun upgrade. Previous to that one, I had, um, you know, the, like the basic standard Nespresso machine, which is actually really great. And ours works just fine. But now we have this one and I'm just really excited. So follow me on Instagram because I'm going to be sharing my coffee drinks in the stories. So I was really excited to end my birthday with that gift. It was something that I really, really wanted, and I was just really excited to have it. So after that, I went to bed, of course, because I was really exhausted by that point. And then the next day, I knew that I was going to a friend's house because that was the only thing I actually knew before it happened that was going to happen is my friend was going to have like a cute little dinner for me at her house. And so, uh, you know, my same friend group that I went out with on my actual birthday, we all went to a friend's house and she had the cutest spread. First of all, she set up her house so cute, like a cute little like glam party. It was perfect. And then for the food, she had a really great spread. It was some hors d'oeuvres, like the cutest charcuterie board. The meats were delicious. Everything was just so nice. I was just so happy and I was just so like thankful that they like put this together so nicely for me. It was beautiful. And then we had a game night. So we played some games. That was a lot of fun. And then we just chilled. We had champagne. We talked, we laughed. We had a really great time. And I actually had to wear my, like wear a hat to the dinner because of the night that I had before. My hair was kind of crazy. So I just wore a hat, but it was fine. It was a really cute outfit I had on this sweatsuit from Banana Republic because everybody was just really chill and we were being like comfortable and cozy. And so everything just worked out really nicely. I had a great time. I really had a really great time. And the same day that I went to a dinner, to my birthday dinner at my friend's house, I had posted on Instagram earlier that day, just saying thank you to you all about um, receiving all the B-day, the really nice birthday wishes from you guys in my DMs. And if you follow my Instagram stories, that's how you had seen that. And still some of you missed it. And then when I did that post, a lot of you left me so many happy birthday comments and these just beautiful comments underneath the photo. And I just wanted to say thank you to you guys because first of all, this birthday, I mean, everything that happened, it was completely unexpected. I had no idea that I was going to have as much fun as I had this birthday. And this year alone was pretty amazing for me. And, you know, I really don't even know what to say. It was just pretty incredible. And I'm just really excited for what's to come. And I didn't realize that so much had happened. You know, these last couple of years have been weird for everyone. I know that. And times are still strange. But, you know, so many good things have happened. And it's important that we, you know, recognize all the good things that have happened in our lives. So I'm very thankful and I'm very happy and excited for the future because I know that so many more good things are coming for us all. And speaking of Instagram, it's time for today's Instagram shout out. And today I'm shouting out Green Eyed Cutie. She's actually a friend of mine. And she commented under the photo where I posted um, thanking you guys for all the B-Day wishes. She commented, I'm so proud of you, Ash. I remember every single convo before you made your moves 
from work to entrepreneurship to your house. I am damn proud of you, baby girl. Keep shining. You deserve it all. And I am so like, when I think about it, it's just so crazy because everything that Winston and I planned and worked on, it's like, it's happening. So I don't know. I'm just grateful and I'm so thankful. And thank you to all of you guys and all of my friends and everyone who believed in what I was doing and supported it. I just really appreciate it. Even like complete strangers who I'd never met, who I've never even seen still. You guys always give me such well wishes and it's just, it blows my mind. It really does. So thank you guys for that. So that was everything, you guys. That's my B-Day wrap up. I had such an amazing birthday. This was definitely one for the books. I had a good time. And after I had so much fun and sweated out my hair, I had to get my hair done again. So I went back to the salon on Monday. If you follow me on Instagram, then you might have seen the post, a couple of posts where I shouted out where I get my hair done because I get so many questions asking about my hair routine and where I get my hair done and what I do. And the salon that I go to is called Be Exquisite Salon. I'll have all the information linked in the description box. The salon has moved to a temporary location in Lithonia, Georgia. The customer service is amazing. That's why I recommend the salon because every time I go, I have a really great experience. All the stylists are really great. Um, when I go, I go to a stylist named Jasmine, but I have seen some of the other stylists when they were at their previous location, I was able to see more of the stylists and how they worked with other people. And every time I've seen anyone, uh, a stylist working on a client, they seem to have a really great rapport with their clients. I have a really great rapport with my stylist. And one thing about Jasmine is that when she's working on a client, you are her focus. Obviously, she doesn't ignore her other clients, but when she's working on you, she focuses on you. She does a great job. She's very professional. Everyone that I have come across in that salon is very professional. They're very warm and very welcoming, and they make you feel comfortable. And like I said, the customer service all around is just really great. And they have an appointment system, which I love because I've never had to wait in like an excessive amount of time for any of my services. I get a silk press and every other time I go now, I have decided that I'm going to be getting a steam hydration treatment. I told you guys, I love the steam hydration treatment now. Like I'm a believer. It is so good. And the last time I went, I got a trim as well. So any of the services that I've gotten, they have all been with really great care and I just have always had the best experience. My mother has also gotten her hair there. She got a trim, and when she got her hair trimmed, she also got a silk press, and she really enjoyed it as well. So I highly recommend them. Definitely check them out if you're interested. They do a really great job. So I'll have all the information for the salon listed in the description box. So be sure and check the description box and go ahead and schedule your appointment. And when you do, make sure you let them know that Ashley from Park Avenue sent you. So that is it, you guys. That's how my birthday went. I had such a great time. And we actually resumed construction on the house. So right now, if you heard any noises in the background, it's the guys working on the garage. So I'm excited to get some clips for you guys and share with you what's going on there. Um, Vlogmas is back in full swing. It's a few more days until Christmas, so... I'm going to get out a few more vlogs for you guys and show you guys what's happening with the construction in the house. I'm really excited to have the garage complete because it's just one more thing done. Like, you know, checked off our checklist. We don't have a lot of stuff to do, but we do have some larger projects to take care of in the house. So, and like a lot of little things. That's really what it is. A lot of little things and a few big things. But we're chipping away at it, and I will keep you guys up to date on that as well. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? I really would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. I get a lot of questions about how to grow a YouTube channel, how to start, equipment recommendations, what do I do? So I wrote a book, and I'm sharing it with you guys. It's going to detail everything that I did to grow my channel specific information and actionable steps that you can take to grow your YouTube channel. So if you are just wanting to start one, but you just have no idea where to start, you get overwhelmed and you just, it just seems so far away for you. This book will help you. If you already have a YouTube channel and maybe you've plateaued or you're just not seeing any kind of growth or you're not seeing the kind of growth that you feel like you should be seeing, this book will help you. It's going to detail everything that I have done and it'll have actionable steps that you guys can take to get you to the next level for your YouTube channel. So click the link in the description box and get started on your channel. Oh.